What is going on YouTube and welcome to episode 7 of Rising to the Top with Thebs Fleet. Now, where we're going to start things off tonight with this, well, in this episode, is going to be starting with the transfers that came in and the players that went out of the club. So looking at the departing players first, we had Brendan Hall leaving. He wasn't going to amount to too much. Anthony Achampong Achampong leaving as well. Rob Fry leaving then subsequently retiring a year later. Luke Pritchard going on loan. A bunch of players going on loan here actually. Pritchard Henry Smith as well. He's currently still with us. Tommy Pryor Going along to Basingstoke. Robert Ford. He's still here as well. Liam Brooke. Of course we have Neil Pament leaving us to Huddersfield. And Lee Smith. Unfortunately, the player who is dubbed to become the next superstar alongside MacArthur has left us for Newcastle United. For a fee of 110,000. Lee Smith has developed absolutely phenomenally for Newcastle and he is he has been really good for them. I'm gonna try and see if I can bring him back but that will be coming in a later episode. I'm not even gonna attempt that now. So going into that we're going to jump straight into the recap, starting off with the first 10 matches of the season. I might actually extend it in this video to make it 15. So, we have the first one against Yeovil, 3-1 win. And goals coming from James Battens, who is actually a very good youngster for us. He will develop nicely. Jamie McVicker, another youngster. And this guy has been phenomenal with free kicks, as you will see later. Scoring two goals there, and Liam Grimshaw getting the only goal for Yeovil, 3-1. Then, a straight knockout from the Capital One Cup in the first round, coming at the hands of Swindon. Max Clayton, Zach Klo, Jamie Tank with the own goal. <laughs> I think if this is the one I'm thinking of... Honestly, I have no idea why I'm showing an own goal here, but if this is the one I'm thinking of, then God help us all. It is. Yeah. Jamie Tank. Sad, sad to see him go out like that. He hasn't gone out. He's still with the club two years later, by the way. But that's a small spoiler of what's what's to come. Then Tyler finally managed to get us two goals back. Three minutes apart. And that was 4-2, to two, but it wasn't enough for us to progress or come back for that matter. Against Notts County, 5-2 win. Absolutely incredible. And I believe at this point we were actually already using the formations. Yep, we were. There's the 3-4-3 three, three in action. 5-2 win. I remember when we first started off our second season in Football League 2 was when I was already actively using the, the, these formations. So let's for a second, let's go back to last season. I think the point where I implemented it was actually right here. Nope, not yet. Not yet, just bear with me a minute. Let's try this one. Yeah, this was it. The 1-0 one -no win. So the last three matches of the season, 2016-2017, were played with by using that formation. <coughs> now, after that, we had a 2-2 draw against Cambridge, 2-2 draw against Bury. 1-0 lost to Southend. At this point, 
her season was not looking as promising as I thought it initially could be. Um, we had Torquay coming up next. 1-0 win. 1-0 win against Fleetwood. Uh, let's see. The only goal coming from Delano, Sam York. And then this one from Pete Gear. Then Torquay, 3-0 win here. And we are going to take a look at the highlights from this match because we owe that much to Torquay. Up till this point, they were kind of a difficult team for us to play against. Sheringham. Deegan. There is Jamie McVicker. And there is the top end by Smith. 1-0. Here's 2-0. Excellent tackle by Alex Smith here. Gorgeous counterattack. McVicker just whips it into the box from here. Fails, but MacArthur finds Somerville. Somerville kicks it over to Smiley 2 0. Here's the third goal of the match. Alex Jones. Sheringham. Smith. 3-0. That was a very good win for us. A third shutout in a row. That was followed up by two more shutouts in the league in League 2 and at this point our season started to look a lot more promising 1-0 against Barnet, 1-0 against Hartlepool and that saw us draw against Burton after those two matches 0-0 so where are we at? 3 12 13th match against Wycom here 1-0 or Wycombe and then, of course, Johnston's Pain Trophy South, second round, 5-1 win over Gillingham. Matt Jones scoring two, James Badham scoring two, Jamie McVicker scoring, and Dominic Samuel getting the lone goal for them. Quite an exciting match. against Tranmere then in League 2 the last match for the recap tonight I believe that's number 15 yep that's number 15 and a 2-3 two, two to three loss to Tranmere here and Pete Gear getting a nice goal here let's take a look at that one kid's a freaking bullet and he's so intelligent out on the pitch it's so easy for him to find a very good opening and exploit that and you will see that coming up in the next couple of episodes because by then we will be caught up almost to the point where I am right now if I keep it to a 15 episodes 15 <laughs> matches per episode format so, with that being said, I don't want to show you the league table, not in this episode, because yes, we won promotion, but yes, that's also coming up. So, as always, thank you for tuning in again, and if you enjoyed the content, please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you back for the next one.